Here we have a nasal cannula. Sometimes you'll see it abbreviated NC. The only real components you need to be familiar with when you open it out of the package, these are obviously single use, are this little slide. So this allows you to cinch it underneath their chin. We'll talk about that in a moment when we demonstrate it. But then also this flare of the nair piece. So this goes inside of their nostrils and you see how this is actually flared backwards those need to go into the nostrils like this. If they go the opposite way so that they're hooking outward, it's very uncomfortable for the patient and it tends to dry out their nares extremely quickly. So the flow rate for this passive oxygen delivery device is one to six liters per minute. And it's usually for our medical patients. So our patients experiencing chest pain or maybe stroke or they're hypoglycemic. These are the patients that would benefit the most from the use of a nasal cannula. Obviously, it's driven by the oxygen saturation, but we also look at other factors like accessory muscle use, medical history. Are they on oxygen when we arrive at the scene? Some people are on HOMO too. What's your normal leader flow? Maybe we need to bump it up a little bit. You just want to be careful with hyperoxygenating, particularly your stroke and your cardiac chest pain patients. Okay, we've got our patient here. We've decided to provide some supplemental oxygen with a nasal cannula. The proper way to apply this is to pull so that the two flares of the nasal cannula are tight in between your fingers, to slide those into the nostrils and then loop around the ears and cinch down the chin piece doesn't need to be too tight, just enough to keep it secure so that this O2 line is running down the anterior part of the patient. It shouldn't be lassoed around their head going down the back. It's a very common rookie mistake as an EMT, something I suggest you avoid when you hit the field. So you want to put that in nicely, go around the ears, underneath the chin, cinch it down, and then it runs to your O2 tank. All right?